Hey guys, Aaron here. I've got another review for you. So, the search for the perfect multi-tool is a long and strife-ridden journey. There are lots of options out there. Leatherman, Gerber, Sog, Victorinox. Um, and lots of different configurations for you to consider. Then you need to decide if you're going to carry on your person or if you're going to keep one nearby. And then taking those considerations, um, taking those factors into consideration, you'll need to figure out what tools are required for you. But I think I may have found um, a really good general solution. But before we get into that, I want to um, highlight something else that you should be seeing. Uh, Urban EDC Supply, as I'm sure you're aware by now, are this channel's sponsors. And they just released a big old drop of Maverick Workshop beads. These are great ways to dress up your EDC. They really lather on the pocket frosting, and they guarantee nearly a 20% increase in your Instagram popularity. I'm kidding. Um, and also, I believe that um, Urban EDC Supply is about to drop some DPX Hest folders, which are really, really cool, beefy workhorse knives from DPX, and those are worth taking a look at as well. So go sign up for Urban EDC Supplies um, email blasts, and you'll get your first chance at this stuff. So, the Victorinox Spirit Tool. Um, this is what I would call a full-sized multi-tool. Um, this standard in size-wise, I think, is being set by the Leatherman line, where you've got tools that are this size, um, you have medium tools that are kind of in between, and you have tiny tools that you can hang on your keys. This is a big one. Um, uh, Victorinox lists it with 26 functions. Um, it weighs just over 8 ounces, is 4 inches long, and 1.2 inches thick. Victorinox ships it with a belt pouch here which is a nice little belt pouch. I don't know if I'm going to get a ton of use out of it, but it's a nice little um, carry option for you if it's something that you wanted to do. Um, so, let's go over the tools. A comprehensive list. Whoops. Dropped my headphone. Uh, comprehensive list. You have pliers here that have soft and hard wire cutters. Nice pliers. I like the... Uh, I like the tightness of the tip. You've got the, the grippy jaws, and you have the two different hardnesses of wire cutters in there. Um, you have a, and bear with me while I try and find some of these. There's a lot of tools. You have a serrated blade here. Nope, that's the saw. So it is here. A serrated blade. Sheep's foot serrated blade. Kind of cool. You have a flathead screwdriver and bottle opener. Um, you have a awl with a all-purpose hook on it there. You have a chisel with, um, this is kind of an interesting tool, it's a chisel with um, wire strippers and it is actually um, quite sharp. You have, let's see here, you have a wood saw as I pulled out earlier here. Pretty standard. You see these in a lot of tools. Um, on the other side, you have a, a wood and metal file. Kind of a saw file, too. And then you have a pretty standard can opener with a small flathead screwdriver on there. Three millimeter screwdriver is what it says. You have a Phillips head, which is actually a really, if you can get it out, it's a little tight to get out. Um, this is a really functional Phillips head, in my opinion. Um, uh, nice and pointy, should fit down in most sized screws really well. You have um, a two millimeter driver there. And then last but not least, you have scissors. Um, this is roughly 18 or 19 actual tools. Victorinox lists this multi-tool having 26 total functions, but they count things like the different springs here and the lanyard holes and stuff like that. 
um, in that list as well. But all in all, this is a great selection of functionality uh, that you can have with you on a day-to-day -day basis everywhere you go. The pliers, as I said before, are very robust and snappy. Um, and it's nice that they've included the two different hardnesses of cutters. The serrated blade, uh, let me get that again. I always think it's where the saw is. Here we go. The serrated blade, as with all serrated blades, will um, be difficult to sharpen in service. However, there are tools that you can get to do it. I do like that it is a very general um, use serrated blade here. Be easy enough to cut cordage, food. You could even spread um, peanut butter and jelly with that if you wanted to. Um, the saws and files. Saw and file will work good in a pinch. Um, I think that it is a well-accepted fact, and this is a good spot to point this out, that a multi-tool like this is something you use to fill the void when you don't have the quote-unquote real tool on hand. Um, so these saws aren't going to fell trees, these files are not going to cut through a chain link fence, but they will fill the void when you need it and you didn't pack the real tools. So, um, kind of with that little brief overview, um, I just want to point out some of my preferences. Careful, I bumped the camera there. Um, in a multi-tool that I'm carrying, there are two primary tools that I always look for um, before a blade, before screwdrivers, or anything like that. And those are pliers here. Because um, this is something that you don't generally pack a pair of pliers with you. Um, so it's nice to have them folded into a multi-tool. And the other one is scissors. It is just really nice to have a pair of scissors. Um, to cut paper, to cut cord. You see, generally, as I'm sure you can imagine, I almost always have a pocket knife on me. However, if you need to cut out a shipping label and you can't find a pair of scissors, if you need to remove the UPC code for a rebate, um, if you even need to open a clamshell package, a pair of scissors like this really um, is superior, in my opinion, to a blade, uh, a, just a straight knife blade. Um, I think that they have their uses on either end, but I think that a pair of scissors like something in this is really what you want. Um, so, as I said earlier, I dig the pliers. I like how they have, um, they're, they're nice and tight at the tip. They've got good jaws, grippy teeth here, and then I like the two different hardnesses of wire cutters. The scissors are, are, are great. They are functional. They will do everything you need to. I like the spring setup. Um, they're very snappy, very snippy. However, in, in even Victorinox multi-tool land, my favorite scissor comes from the... Pioneer X here. I like just the length of the blade difference. You can see that. So um, these are also available from Urban EDC Supply. But um, if they put those scissors into this, it would be perfect. So yeah, I guess um, to, to kind of prevent myself from rambling on, the rest of the tools are pretty self-explanatory. Drivers, bottle openers, can openers. These all function as you would expect. Um, the one thing that I think sticks out to me as being interestingly useful is this, the chisel edge. I think it would be good for push cutting cordage, scraping, stuff like that. If you need to remove a label, a sticky label from something, I think this would really excel. I'm kind of curious how that edge would hold up um, over a lot of use, how you would be able to maintain that, because it is quite sharp right now. You can see it stick to my skin. Um, yeah, so to wrap it up, um, I think this is a nicely designed heavy-duty multi-tool, very, very well finished. I think, in my opinion, an, a little superior in its finishing than Leatherman. Um, it is easy to carry with you on your belt or in your bag. I like the layout. I like the aesthetic um, for the most part. And I, it's available um, at a very reasonable price point. I believe that you can buy this um, from Urban EDC Supply for about $100, which is cheaper than most of the heavy-duty Leatherman tools. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys like it. It's a little departure from the custom pocket knives for me and the flashlights and whatnot, but it is something that I carry and it is something that I have been considering. Um, I hope you all like it and I am looking forward as always to the comments. So thanks a lot guys. Aaron out of here.